Hi everyone, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra math problem? That is square root of a plus square root of b is equal to 20. A square root of a times b is also is equal to 20. So here we will try to find some of the possible solutions in this algebra math problem. So here we will start our solution. So first we will write solution. Then, then after the solution here we will make a supposition. So let us suppose this square root of a is equal to x and this square root of b is equal to y. So we will write this supposition here. Let square root of a is equal to another variable. Let us suppose x and square root of b is equal to y. So these two equations will become the first equation will become x plus y is equal to 20 and the second equation will become here we can write square root of a times b as square root of a times square root of b the square root of a is x and square root of b is y is equal to 20 so from here we get these two equations so let us suppose this is equation number first and this is equation number second here we will solve these two equations for the values of x and y and then we will come back to our supposition so from here we will take equation number first which is x plus y is equal to 20 here we will move this x to the right hand side so this will become y is equal to 20 minus x let us suppose this is in equation number third and here we will put this value of y from equation number third and equation number second so equation number second is equation number second is x times y is equal to 20 and here we will replace y with its value 20 minus x so this will become x times y is 20 minus x is equal to 20 now further it will become 20x minus x times x is x squared and we will move this 20 to the left hand side this, this will become minus 20 is equal to 0 now here let us rearrange these terms this will become minus x squared plus 20x minus 20 is equal to 0 now here we will make the coefficient of x squared positive so for that we will multiply this equation both sides by negative 1. So multiplying negative 1 in both sides of this equation, this will become x square, this will become negative 20x and this will become positive 20 is equal to 0. And here this is a quadratic equation x square minus 20x plus 20 is equal to 0. So here we will use the quadratic formula to find the roots of this quadratic equation. Now to use the quadratic formula, first we will write the values of a, b, c that we need in the quadratic formula. So here the value of a which is the coefficient of x square is 1. Now the value of b which is the coefficient of x which is minus 20. And the value of c which is the constant term which is 20. Now here the quadratic formula is x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a now here we will put the values of a b and c in the right hand side so this will become x is equal to now what is the value of p the value of b is minus 20 plus minus square root of b square is minus 20 square minus 4a is 1 c is plus 20 divided by 2a a is 1 so further this equation will become negative time negative is positive so it will become plus 20 plus minus square root of the here minus square is positive and 20 square is 400 so minus 20 square is plus 400 minus and here 4 times 20 is about 80 divided by 2 times 1 is 2 so further it will become 20 
plus minus here the square root of 400 minus 80 is above 320 divided by 2. Next we can write this number inside the square root as 20 plus minus this number can be written as 64 times 5 divided by 2. Now next we will split this square root over 64 and 5. So square root of 80, 64 is 8 and square root of 5 will be the same. So the value of x will become x is equal to 20 plus minus it will become square root of 64. The square root of 64 is 8 and times square root of 5 divided by 2. Now here we will take 2 common from the numerator. To cancel this 2 from the denominator. So this will become taking 2 common. It will become 10 plus minus 4 times square root of 5 divided by 2. So here we will cancel 2 with 2. So only 10 plus minus 4 times square root of 5 is left in the right hand side. So the value of x will become x is equal to 10 plus minus 4 times square root of 5. So this is our answer and value of x. Now here we will try to find the corresponding value of y. So for that we will put this value of x in equation number 3rd. Now equation number 3rd is y is equal to 20 minus x. So we will do these steps here. So equation number 3rd is equation number 3rd implies which is y is equal to 20 minus x. Here we will put the value of x and we will find the value of y. So the value of y will become 20 minus the value of x is 10 plus minus 4 times square root of 5. Here we will multiply this negative sign inside the parenthesis. So this will become 20 minus 10 and here it will become negative time positive is negative and negative time negative is positive. And this will become 4 times square root of 5. So further, the value of y will become 20 minus 10 is 10 minus plus 4 times square root of 5. So this is the required value of y. Now here our target is not to find the value of x and y. Our target is to find the value of a and b. So for that here we will come back to our supposition that is x is equal to square root of a and y is equal to square root of b. So in both the cases we will replace x and y with its actual value. Now here x is equal to square root of a. But the value of x is 10 plus minus 4 times square root of 5. Now we will solve this one equation for the value of a. Now to solve this equation here we will take square on both sides because there is square root in the left hand side or a. So here we will cancel this square with this square root and in the right hand side we will use an algebraic identity. So here we will use this one algebraic identity in the right hand side. a plus minus b whole square is equal to a square plus minus 2 times ab plus b square so here we will use this one identity in the right hand side so this equation will become here in the left hand side only a is left and the right hand side will become a square so a is 10 so it will become 10 square plus minus 2 times a is 10 and b is 4 times square root of 5 plus b square now b is 4 times square root of 5 whole square. Now further this will become a is equal to 10 square is 100 plus minus 2 times 10 is 20, 20 times 4 is 80. So this will become 80 times square root of 5 plus here this square will be applied on 4 and root of 5. So 4 square is 16. And when we apply the square root of 5, so square and square will be cancelled. So this will become only 5. Now 16 times 5 is 80. So 
So here we will add these two numbers. So this will become A is equal to 100 plus 80 is about 180 plus minus 80 times square root of 5. So this is the required value of A in this problem that we need. So there are two values one is positive and one is negative. Now here we will find the corresponding value of B. So part that we will use this value of Y. So in our supposition B is equal to y is equal to square root of b. Now here the value of y is 10 minus plus 4 times square root of 5. Now here we will solve this one equation for the value of b. Now there is square root in on b. So again we will take square on both sides. So here the square and square root will be cancelled. So only b will be left here and in the right hand side we will use the above algebraic identity this one identity there is just the difference of positive negative here is positive negative so there is negative positive so this will become a square a is 10 square minus plus 2 times a b plus b square b is 4 times square root of 5 so next it will become 10 square is 100 minus plus 2 times 10 is 20, 20 times 4 is 80. So this will become 80 times square root of 5 plus and this will become 4 square is 16 and here square root of 5 square is 5. Square and square root will be cancelled. So this will become 16 times 5 which is 80. Now again we will add these two numbers. So 100 plus 80 is 180 minus times plus is 80 times square root of 5. So this is the required values of B. So here we have two possible solutions, two possible values of A and two possible values of B. So our possible solutions are, our first solution is A1 comma B1 which is equal to, now the value of A1 is 180 plus 80 times square root of 5 now the value of b1 is the negative one so this will become 180 minus 8 times square root of 5 sorry this is not 8 this is 80 so it will become 80 times square root of 5 this is our first solution now second solution is a2 comma b2 so in the second solution we will use the negative value of a and the positive value of b so this will become 180 minus 80 times square root of 5 comma the value of b is positive so 180 plus 80 times square root of 5 so this is our second solution so here we have these two possible solutions in this algebraic math problem now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching